With his name simply known as Zinj, the Fondorian who was the son of a shipbuilder decided to enrol at the Navy Academy at Pressbelt 4. During this time he looked up to his mother, who was an admiral in the Republic Outreach and Security Force during the latter years of the Galactic Republic. After initially showing little promise as a cadet, Zinj was determined to become a warrior, which drove him to graduate highly in his class. He went on to serve the Republic Navy as a diligent crew member until the chauvinistic regime of the Galactic Empire in 19 BBY ensured Zinj rose quickly through the ranks to become a captain. As part of Grand Admiral Thrawn's fleet, he was granted the command of the Victory Class 1 Star Destroyer Iron Fist and was ordered to hunt down his own mother, who had recently defied the Empire and joined a pirate group which had become an enemy of Imperial rule. While commanding the Star Destroyer Iron Fist, which was due for decommissioning, Zinj had developed a brilliant battle tactic, which meant hiding amongst their asteroid fields, waiting for attacking forces to strike. While hidden in the asteroids, Zinj's forces used turbo blasts to create debris clouds, which destroyed, damaged or even forced an enemy to retreat. This tactic proved very successful and gained him recognition from his superiors. Although Singe was a devious individual who liked to mislead, this proved to be his greatest weapon during his command as well as being technically proficient and an expert tactician. Shortly after the Battle of Yavin, Captain Zinj learned from the Emperor that the new Imperial prison on Dathomir was vulnerable to attack from the primitive force-wielding Sisters. To prevent them from leaving the planet and becoming a threat to him, Palpatine ordered Zinj to destroy the prison including any shuttle transports. For his quick thinking, Palpatine promoted Zinj to the rank of Admiral and awarded him the command of the latest Executor Class Star Dreadnought, which he quickly renamed back to Iron Fist. Over the next few years, Zinj would rise to the rank of Grand Moff, and whilst governing the Quelle Oversector, he had command of a powerful Imperial fleet of Victory Class Star Destroyers. Now in control of the sector, he needed to gain full control of the Hydean Way Super Hyper Route. This meant driving out a humanoid reptilian species called the Drachmarians, who were fearless opponents of the Galactic Empire. Other than General Malvar, his most trusted aide, few knew of the true Zinj. The Grand Moff maintained a public persona to lure his enemies into a false sense of security and then strike to destroy them, becoming an imposing figure when he wanted to be. He was particularly skilled at playing his enemies off against each other and during this time his Imperial fleet was becoming the largest across the Empire's entire Imperial Navy. After the Empire's decisive defeat at Endor in 4 ABY, the Imperial Ruling Council under the leadership of St. Pestige seized what control they could over the fracturing Galactic Empire. Singe refused to recognise the Imperial Ruling Council's authority and proclaimed himself as a warlord, taking complete control of what territories he could while forming borders with other Imperial warlords. During this time, Yasani Isard had control of the Empire's core worlds. However, Singe capitalised on recruiting many Imperials who defected from her rule. This quickly ensured Zinj became the most powerful warlord, with his territory stretching almost the length of the galaxy from the edge of the core worlds into the outer rim. Around this time, Zinj set up his headquarters on the planet Sereno and played a successful game of pretending to be loyal to the ruling council's central authority, when in fact he had splintered away to rule his own faction and working hard to solidify his own power base. To ensure his forces remain loyal to his individual cause after the Emperor's death, Singe created his own elite military force called the Raptors. As the regular stormtroopers remained fiercely loyal to the Imperial Ruling Council, Singe opted to create his own troopers. As a top aide to Singe, the sadistic General Melvar led his forces which consisted of Imperial variants called TIE Raptors and T4 transports, both manufactured by the Incom Corporation. Over the following months, Singe built shipyards at Dathomir and started mining operations on Dathomir's fourth moon. He also initiated some of the many special projects he was involved in. Some of these projects included the genetic experiments on non-human species, creating miniature parasite droids to spy on his enemies, and finally setting up a brainwashing program to produce non-human sleeper agents. In 4 ABY, Zinj achieved several useful victories against the distracted New Republic, who were investigating and fighting several enemies, including Lord Shadowspawn. Despite an uneasy alliance between Isard and Zinj, they collaborated briefly to slow the New Republic's progress in their taking of Coruscant from Isard's Imperial control. However, their flimsy alliance did not last long and Zinj disappeared for a while. In the early months of 9 ABY, Yasani Isard was killed by New Republic spies aboard her star dreadnought Lusankia. 
This prompted many of her previous serving Imperial officers to join Zinja's mini empire. The warlord went on to absorb the territories of many smaller warlords including Terranor Screed who he executed and Nigel Nivers. Controlling his forces from Rancor base on Dathomir, Zinj became increasingly ambitious, going as far as attacking the New Republic fortress world of New Alderaan. With Zinj now the single largest threat to the New Republic, they committed a large fleet led by General Solo to hunt down the Warlord. However, it was Wedgentili's Wraith Squadron who provided the means to cripple Zinj's forces. Operating a single pirate squadron, they were sent to harass the Warlord by attacking parts of his operations to draw his attention. Members of Wraith Squadron successfully infiltrated Zinja's operation to steal a new star dreadnought, Razor's Kiss, from the Kuat Drive Yards, still allied to the remnants of the Galactic Empire. Posing as pirate mercenaries, the Hawkbats, they were successful in gaining control and destroying the star dreadnought and foiling Zinja's plans. Later, Singe Zinj planned to strike back at the New Republic by accelerating his plans for his latest project, known as Minefield, a massive assassination campaign. The campaign brainwashed a significant number of non-human members of the New Republic and placed to activate them as operatives. Singe created a serious problem for the New Republic by assassinating key personnel and destroying assets, and also creating a paranoia between humans and non-humans. To save his empire, Zinj outlined a five-step plan to Melvar. He wanted to retain control of the Iron Fist, save as much of his support network as possible and eliminate General Solo, to eventually retreat to Rancor base and repair his fleet and finally formulate his next scheme for galactic domination. As part of his plans, Zinj was advised by Gara Petithel, an Imperial intelligence spy. However, unbeknown to Zinj, she had secretly defected to the New Republic and disclosed Zinj's plans. General Solo was able to anticipate the movements of Zinj's fleet, and after a series of short damaging engagements for the Warlord, he was simply looking to escape and regroup his forces. Zinj was eventually forced into battle at Seligus but his trusted tactic of hiding behind asteroids was less successful and he took heavy losses forcing him to retreat. In 8 ABY General Solo arrived at the planet Dathomir following a tip off and realised Singe had a huge fleet orbiting the planet there. However this time with the help of Luke Skywalker they both managed to defeat the Warlord. Singe was eventually killed when the Millennium Falcon slipped beneath the Iron Fist shields and with his two last concussion missiles, Solo obliterated the bridge of the Star Dreadnought. Although Singe's empire only lasted for a four year period, his removal from power had meant the largest threat to the New Republic had now been removed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the Galactic Empire Star Wars channel for more Imperial videos. Thank you for watching, long live the Empire and as always may the Force be with you.